Now the latest on impeachment proceedings against President Trump, the acting director of national intelligence was answering questions today about that whistleblower complaint. President Trump is being investigated for seeking help from a foreign government to possibly undermine the campaign of Democratic frontrunner Joe Biden. Our chief capital reporter Susan Raff has local reaction. She's here now. Go ahead, Susan. Denise, President Clinton was impeached but remained in office. Richard Nixon was facing impeachment, but he eventually resigned. As for President Trump, the investigation now going on could go on for weeks and possibly even months. Today, the acting director of national intelligence told lawmakers he initially withheld the whistleblower complaint from Congress because many allegations in it were based on conversations Trump had with a foreign leader. Congressman Jim Himes is on the House Intelligence Committee. Did you or your office ever speak to the President of the United States about this complaint? Um, Congressman, I'm, I'm the President's intelligence officer. I speak with him several times throughout the week. Sir, let me repeat my question. Did you ever speak to the President about this complaint? The whistleblower complaint alleges Trump used his power to solicit interference from a foreign country in the 2020 election, in part based on a phone call with Ukraine's leader, where Trump urged him to investigate Joe Biden and his son. Some are comparing what we are seeing now to the impeachment proceedings against President Nixon. Former Governor Lowell Weicker was a U.S. senator on the Watergate Committee investigating Nixon. He gained national attention when he became the first Republican senator to call for Nixon's resignation. Senator Richard Blumenthal was an intern during the Nixon White House, but had left before the impeachment proceedings started. While Democrats control the House, Republicans dominate the Senate, and many doubt the Senate will vote to impeach. My hope is that Republicans will recognize that they will be judged by history as complicit with Donald Trump in this criminality and cover-up if they fail to participate in a just and accurate proceeding. During the Nixon scandal, Republicans pretty much stayed faithful to him until the very end. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, how the public could influence what happens, especially in the 2020 election. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.